from me. And uh, now I would like to invite Dr. Wasik Hatwari to give the concluding remarks and see you PT role. Please welcome Dr. Wasik Hat. Process of research, proper sanitation, monitoring. 
of the grant research project and the financial investigation. The mentoring system by the university will establish in the research ethic practice has been highlighted collaborate. In this manner of fraternity could help level up the research ethic practice of the university to stand up level. On behalf of the Council of the University, President of Thailand, with 27 member university, are considered to play an important role in developing the country innovation. The main thing is how to use technology effectively and still Thai in a way that could work with economy of Thailand 4.0. The, this is a great proposition and a starting point. The research and the development of innovation with science and technology talent for part zero will be used to boost the competitiveness of the country and the Thai for part zero to reduce social inadequate and lead to a secure, prosperous and sustainable Future. This is a summary of our work here. And the other thing, I thought that everybody has discussed and speak up already. From the beginning to the end, I thought that if I speak again, it's useless. And we waste your time. Otherwise, if you speak more, uh, they told me that you have time here, at least 10 or 15 minutes. I said, okay, I can use for one hour or three hours. It's a little bit more. It's not going to do that, do that. So, any advice, any need, any what you want community to do for you, to work together, we accept and we carry it on to the committee to present it. You are most welcome. Thanks. Professor Wahid, and in fact, I'm not sure why you're leaving the stage. <laughs> we would love to have you, and Dr. Prasik is not able to join us. He's at a very urgent meeting, but he will also uh, be joining us for dinner. And we have STI. So these three partners in Thailand who have been gracious enough to co-host this conversation, I now open the floor for all of you to think about what together you think we can do to help create this community. Rather than make question and answer, I will follow your good example and say really this is for a final conversation and hear from all of you about what you think the next steps might be. Should we establish a working group on research integrity, perhaps to inform STI's involvement in UNESCO meeting in 2019? Should we, this is rhetorical question, submit an abstract to the Asia Pacific Research Integrity Network meeting coming in Taipei in a few months? Should we make a Thai delegation to go to some of these meetings and other meetings? So what do you think would be a good way to increase the level of information, as we heard from our small group conversation, increase the awareness, learn from YouTube and other places that are uh, valuable resources from our mentors? What, what do you think we should do as next steps? Our panel has some ideas they might like to express. Do you, what, what do you all think? He's saying, what was the question? <laughs> so let's ask also from the, the group if there are particular things that could be valuable next steps. Would you like to have another meeting like this? Was it useful? Yeah, I, I, I can have a response to your comment. I think we have to, you know, 
be more responsible society. And so far, we have tolerated the illegal conduct for so long, and we always compromise. And that is not the way the civil society should be. And sometimes, like the other guy said, you, you have to do both the carrot and stick. But our society always carrot, no stick. And we have to punish the people who have some misconduct, and especially the plagiarism. That I think we have we have seen some good example in Thailand, and we should pass on that example for the lesson of the younger generation. Like the director of one respected organization plagiarized the work of the author for their PS, for, for his PSP thesis and he was punished by you know everybody know the story. And I think Jerome Court had done a very good story on this and it should be passed on to the people who is going who is thinking about some doing something unethical that if sooner or later the misconduct will will be catching up with you no matter how long. So I think this is something that you cannot escape from your misconduct in terms of your you know, moral or ethic issue. I think this is a lesson for the younger generation that even though now it's so easy to get access to whatever you from the internet, but there are two sides of the story. Something that you get from the internet can come and haunt you. And I think, I think it's something that, I mean, honesty will guarantee your safety as well as your well-being. Okay. If, uh, uh, if we have the activity like this and maintain I am sure our research so, uh, society will be improved on the research this mm. So, let, we let, let, me, let me add one more thing. I think we have to try to not to go along with the, you know, our normal practice that we always compromise. We have to resist the temptation of compromising because. There is a word in Thailand that everybody knows Feng Chai, Hen Chai. That's not, that's, that's something we do in terms of social interaction, but in terms of the ethical standard. This terminology cannot be used in our dictionary. Okay. And are there particular ideas for helping create a system and an environment that is more conducive to integrity, not just these severe cases of fabrication, falsification, and plagiarism that will come back to haunt you, but what about in those cases of time pressures, reducing stress, even maybe training around stress management, how to manage a budget, how to write a grant? What about that? Have we ideas for how to do a better job on those questionable research practices that may not rise to the level of the extreme cases. What should we do as a next step for that? Have another meeting? I see some hands nodding. How about moving beyond meetings and discussion? What action steps, integrity in action, can we take there? Maybe an idea from the group. And this can be you're nodding your head, our spokesperson from the conversation, please. Yes, yeah, so, uh, first I'd like to thank you so much for you know having this saucer equivalent, really important segment today. So I think we should we should keep this up and just to make this more you know shiny in, in Thailand and everywhere. So what I believe that we supposed to do since right here today, we have like our administrative, we have the policy maker, we have researchers, we have their, our, their for their HRD people, university. 
So right now we just have with like I would say the right people in this group already. So for the next part, if we just really want to make sure that we can bring ethics to the real practice, it means that the people today they might have to spread their words to their colleagues and their friends. And finally, the following part is gonna be like more discussion because they're gonna get more feedback about what exactly are their concern and that they think that they would add into more of that part. And and really importantly that for me like myself from NASA, so I'm just gonna go back and talk to the people who can, you know, if, for example my boss is like the the research unit director, so would just like put us like are just to share with other researchers that the ethics things can become more important. This should be something that we can put in our research proposal or something. So we should start from that. And if you have another seminar or discussion or about this our topic, I would be there for sure. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Kapunka. I hope I will be there too. I think this is an aspirational note on which we should conclude the day. And just to give you an example from Scotland, my colleagues at the University of Glasgow have put in action the concept you are describing. They have what they call research integrity ambassadors. So everyone comes to a meeting, then they go back and they spread the word and they discuss resources and share information and good practices and continue to play a part in that accountable research community. So each of us will stand up all of us, because we've all contributed to this meeting, and particularly acknowledge our three sponsors, the STI, NASTA, and the Council of Universities for convening us together today. Thank you. On behalf of Dr. Kantana Pramisya. On behalf of NASDAQ, we would like to thank for your kind interest and participation. We hope everyone here have a, has a really very productive time today. And thank you very much and have a safe trip. Thank you.